Hello and welcome my friends, this is my play in tier list. This time without face cam, I'm sick, I look even worse than usual, so let's just get into it. In the D rank, we have Pain Gaming. Honestly, their roster is pretty good, but it's just not enough. It's just not enough, sadly, for this fierce competition. Then we move up to Mad. I'm not hot on that team whatsoever. I think they absolutely uh, suck. I, I have no hope for them. Uh, maybe playing on their home turf will give them some really good advantages, right? Less jet lag, more accustomed to everything. Maybe that will help them, but uh, yeah, from what we saw, they are not great. Even Rainbow 7, right? If you compare lane to lane, it's like Summit in top lane. Sure, he's not the best, but he's better than like Merwin. Eloya doesn't look good, so like Audi, who is actually doing well right now, it's not too bad either. And then in the mid lane, Kane is actually fucking insane. And for Skawi, I, I, I'm not on the hype train at all. Bot lane could be Matt's avenue to win. Super is pretty good. But Seo is also not too terrible. Sure, major region good is a bit different than minor region good. I acknowledge that. But uh, yeah, and the support both aren't really all that great. Then in the beat region, we have uh, the Hawks actually pretty good but uh, yeah they are lacking in some departments they absolutely dominated the japanese region i think they dropped only two games in playoffs and in the regular split and then in the pcs part of their run they even made it there and i mean the pcs is super competitive i mean yeah making it to worlds is already an achievement next we have the vikings second seed from the vcs region and uh, yeah, besides GAM, they're the ones making this region competitive. There's a huge gap between the second and the third teams uh, in that region. And yeah, they have old GAM players, old Buffalo players, right? Vikings is the new Buffaloes. Yeah, the region is decent and they are a good team in that region. That counts for something. Hungry Thieves, um, yeah, NA and a rookie team. Not things that work really well for them. They have Quit, who is really good. River, who knows some of these teams decently well, right from his experience in the PCS. And then they have Tomo, who is also kind of growing into his role. Overall, a very young team with not that much of experience, which could be their downside here. They have some mechanics, but yeah, that's uh, also about it. The wild teams like Gam are going to make it really hard for them. And the Gam overall, yeah, I mentioned some old players are now at Vikings. The new additions to the team just work really well. Levi, we don't have to mention that he's always good and he's still good, right? Even after all these years. Their new mid laner, yeah, he just is a, an upgrade to Kati, who is now at Vikings. And then Kiaya, the top laner, long standing member, eight titles, just casually picks up like over 20 solo kills and so on and so on. Like this team, uh, sure, their bot lane might not be the, the hot part of them. There are a few issues, right, with uh, like match fixing stuff and they lost their AD carry for that. And then they had to get all kinds of like new things going on there. That was rough. So the bot main is the way to attack this team, but the top side is just <laughs> making up for it. And then PSG, not much to say. This team already was like the dominating force in the PCS region, which overall is a pretty good region. And also, uh, yeah, I mean, any team that can take BLG to five games is a good team. Uh, I mean, I've not seen an NA or EU team do that. So yeah, the PSG is actually really good. They got an upgrade uh, in comparison to last year. They have Betty now, who is absolutely wild, doing crazy work down in their bot lane. And then, yeah, I mean, Maple is going to hold his own, brings lots of experience. Aja in top lane is doing all right. They have Yunjia in the jungle, right? He was member of EDG's roster at uh, the Worlds run. As a substitute, he didn't play and so on and so on, but he was there, he gained experience, and now he's just destroying the league. And they have an absolute monster in the support position, Woody, right? You wouldn't expect that from a, like, let's call it minor region, that they have, like, wild supports that actually, like, do impact the game, that are actually smart. Like, that guy has more MVPs than others as a support player in the minor region. That's just crazy to me. This team is just by far the best in the playing region. Sure, I'm underestimating the major regions maybe a bit, but Hungry Thieves is a surprise to even be here and they are from NA and they have a bunch of rookies and Matt, I mean, I'm not hot on EU at all and they have the same issues. A bunch of rookies 
and Ilioya as their veteran is also not looking too good. Maybe these teams will look better on the different patch and after a bit of a break, but I don't believe in them making it through. And for Matt, that wouldn't be the first time either, to be honest. So let me know about your thoughts about the tier list and your potential rankings in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe for a bunch of more Worlds content. It's going to be absolutely wild. It's going to be absolutely great what we're going to see together in the next couple of weeks. Till then, my friends, bye bye.